Okay, we got a 2010 uh, Chevy Express, and the customer complaint is that a couple of issues. Uh, for one, you can't turn the key. And uh, if you look at that key, it's definitely wore out. Uh, so I have uh, cut a new key for this. Uh, I just cut a key blank just to try this. And we'll see if this key works. Oh, yeah, it works like a dream. So that's definitely the issue. Be able to now diagnose the other problem, which is um, with that key, the customer's key, it won't crank. So I realize this is an unprogrammed, this is just a keyblade, but uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna clone up the original, you can see the security lights flashing because it uh, hasn't recognized the transponder. So what, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, clone this customer's this customer's key and with a super chip and what we'll do is we'll diagnose the no start condition it's it's possible that um that it's a bad starter uh, the customer has said that this truck has done this before once before and it fixed itself so um it's possible that the starter has gone on it so I'll do some checks under the hood after uh, we clone the key and uh, I'll let you know how things go. Okay, so I've uh, made up a clone of the customer's key and it's working good. You can see the security light goes out there. So everything should be good now, but as you can see, it still won't crank. So we're going to check and see if we've got a signal uh, from the computer through the starter relay. Make sure we got powers and grounds where we need to have them and uh, see if we got power going down to the starter solenoid. So that'll, uh, if I can test whether uh, PCM's grounding the uh, starter relay, then I'll know um, if things are good. This truck had a bunch of codes in it. So I'm probably going to hook my laptop up and have a little look, see, as well. Okay, we uh, tested for power and ground down at the starter, and it was good. Uh, so as you can see, we ended up taking the starter off, putting a new starter on, and uh, she's good. Fired right up.